recent years, the capital markets have embraced the cloud, with early adopters already seeing tangible business benefits, including greater agility, better performance and closer control over costs. As the calculation burden on financial institutions continues to increase, fast, accurate pricing and risk management is of utmost importance. To address this challenge, financial software vendors and cloud providers are coming together to offer their clients innovative solutions. Well, joining us to look at this are Maroon Ede, he's the CEO at Murex, and Frank Fallon. Frank is the Vice President, Global Financial Services at um, Amazon Web Services. So gentlemen, welcome to Cybos Television. And Frank, I'd like to start with you because with more and more financial institutions moving towards the cloud, can you shed light on some of the key trends that have emerged in the last 18 months? Sure, Juliet. What we're finding is you know, over the last 18 months or so, the biggest change are these capital markets companies really changing their business models. Mm -hmm. And you know, they are becoming much more customer centric and they are using the cloud in order to provide systems that at a lower cost allow them to be able to provide systems that really can get new products out to market more quickly and then be able to provide uh, systems that allow their customers to manage their risk. Uh, we're using the, they're using them for really b dealing better with uh, market fluctuations, of which we've seen a lot lately. Mm, uh, exactly, so there's no excuse really, the cloud is here, use it or lose it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be there, yes, I don't think they'll lose it, but we're seeing a, certainly a, a very strong move to the cloud by, by many of the capital markets companies. Maroon, over 20% of your customers have already started this journey to the cloud. Can you tell us a little bit about how they're using it? Yes, of course. Uh, first of all, 20% may sound a little bit low, but you have to compare it to what it was, for instance, at the Cybos in Sydney last year. It's already much better. And practically, you have a complete spectrum of attitudes. Uh, some of them like to go step by step, so they would start using it not really in production, but for development or for testing, for instance. Some others are ready to move a little bit faster, and they would use it in production in certain use cases which are very adapted. i give you an example. You have more and more regulations today which request from you extremely heavy calculations that you do a few times a day. So you need, at one point in time, a sort of burst in capacity, and the cloud is very adapted to that. And some, and it's the, for the moment the minority, but everybody's moving there, are going full speed and putting everything in production on the cloud. So you, you can feel the momentum uh, when you look at uh, our client base. Okay, um, uh, Frank, let's broaden this up because we've just heard about Maroon's experience with, with, with the cloud and what it's doing with Murex, but why is it important for other players in the ecosystem, for example, the market vendors, to actually develop cloud-enabled solutions since it's the way forward. Yeah, we've, we're seeing that when important market players like uh, Murex uh, work with, uh, for example, AWS, that it, it really creates better outcomes for, the, for our mutual customers. And so there's a synergy so that one plus one actually equals three. And there's uh, another example that uh, was just announced where Murex is, and, and Bloomberg have, have announced that uh, the uh, Bloomberg market data that runs on AWS will be able to connect with the Murex very flexible MX3 and be able to get this market data to their customers in minutes, all running on the cloud. As Frank mentions here, Synergy, uh, Murex and AWS are working together to support financial institutions during, after uh, their, their move to the cloud. How are they doing this? If you think about the, the journey, we first ha have to conceive uh, a product which is well adapted to the cloud. And you don't do this and then you stop. You have to keep adapting more and more to get closer to the cloud. So we have to work with Amazon for that. Then when we talk to clients, we have to come up with a, a common message. We have to be aligned on exactly what we're bringing to the market. We work with uh, AWS. When we implement at the clients, we have to do lots of things together also. If there's any kind of issues, for instance, uh, we have to be able to have a relation to resolve them and shield the client from that. 
And finally, when you're talking R&D, what you're going to bring to the market in one year, two years, three years, you have to be very close to the technologists and to the commercial people within AWS. So we have built a strong relation to do that, and frankly, the, the problems we're trying to resolve for our clients are so complex that I wouldn't see it any other way. Uh, Frank, what is the AWS cloud adoption framework, and what are the benefits that it's bringing to your customers? Yeah, the AWS cloud adoption framework al allows our customers to be able to uh, accelerate their journey to the cloud with a set of mechanisms and processes that we've worked with thousands of other customers. So with the experience that we've had in building these systems, they can build their systems uh, and customize them to, the, to what their requirements are and doing it, do it in a way that's speedy, but maintains the level of com security and compliance that's, that's so important for, for their customers and the regulators. Maroon, in addition to the cloud, Murex uh, and many of its clients are leveraging DevOps and continuous delivery principles. Uh, what are the benefits of combining these two approaches? Yes, in theory, uh, you can have uh, DevOps without cloud and cloud without DevOps. Yet, uh, as you suggested, they are very well correlated, they work very well together. Why is that? If you think a little bit about cloud, you're bringing a lot of flexibility and power to the clients. You're bringing flexibility in the sense that whenever they need, it's on demand. Whenever they need capacity, they get it right away. Uh, in fact, DevOps brings this kind of flexibility in a sense that whenever you build something, you don't have to build, 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 and wait for ages before you get something in production. You have small drops in production constantly, so you're constantly evolving. So the mixture, if you want, of constantly evolving your build and at the same time having an extremely flexible environment, they both work very well together, and we see all our clients uh, needing these two items and in their mind converging them. Okay, and let's stay with the future, Maroon. A final word to you on this. It's a slightly unfair question, but do forgive me because look, now that we're seeing the capital markets embracing the cloud, do you think that software as a service is the next big step? Yes, it's a very logical next step and let me tell you why. So assume you're a bank, you've put your operations, let's say, on Murex on the cloud, and you can see that right away with the example Frank gave, just one example, uh, you have a certain ecosystem you can exploit. For instance, the connectivity with Bloomberg that was mentioned. Mm -hmm. Now, assume that beyond this connectivity at some point, there's a company which on the cloud, is, whether it's Murex or another one, capable of taking away from me bank a certain business process and execute it for me, and which is already connected to the cloud. I may find this interesting because I'm going to be able to rely on a st for a standard process on a company doing that for lots of different clients and leveraging their, their cost base in a way, and it may be more interesting for me. So little by little, I'm going to conceive and to look at all my business processes and decide which are those where I have value add and I want to keep for myself versus which are those that I'm going to farm out to a SaaS service. So it's going to come very naturally. Okay. Well, gentlemen, it's been very interesting and informative to speak to you both. We hope you continue to enjoy Cybos 2019. Maroon Ed, uh, CEO of Murex, and Frank Fallon, Vice President, Global Financial Services, Amazon Web Service. Thank you for joining us on Cybos TV. Our pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you for having Have us. a great week. Thank you.